Wanna know why Red. all hurricanes are named after women? <laughs> oh, Hurricane no. Katrina. Because they come in wet and Harvey? wild, and they leave with your house and car. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> that delivery was so awful. That's what made it so much funnier. All right. Uh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 with the Modern Warfare 2 maps and Modern Warfare 2 guns here on Contractors VR. Today, we're going to be going and doing some coverage, rocking the Quest 3 connected through the PC VR. But let me go and mute some of my teammates here so they're not like going and talking over this commentary as much as i do like the banter back and forth man i do want to make sure that this commentary just doesn't get like completely sunk in just because i'm getting like kind of a little bit buried in the gameplay but oh god there we go we are gucci oh my goodness no oh god okay jump over Ooh. this is bad there's so many footsteps oh my god Okay, I don't know how I'm still alive. No way, bro. That would have been such a sick feed. <laughs> but yeah, today I am just so excited to be able to go and play some freaking Modern Warfare 2 maps here on the PC VR side of Contractors. Because let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure it's probably like not as good in the video recording. But like the lighting wise, the way the maps actually planned out, and even like some of the other Call of Duty maps they have in here, like it goes all the way up to like Black Ops Cold War. You got Modern Warfare 19 maps. And I'm sure that even coming soon with like the upcoming Modern Warfare 3, those maps will easily be ported here in the near future once the game actually like officially releases. So I am just stoked to be able to go and play this type of stuff and make videos like this, especially on contractors. Like this game is the number one like game that feels like Call of Duty in VR, bro. Like there's no doubt about it in my mind. This is the number one when it comes down to any of that type of stuff. But I really hope this gameplay turns out because this is gonna be the first time I really ever do some PC VR gameplay using the Quest 3. I mean, obviously it's, oh geez, did I just get lit across the map? No, okay, they spawned behind me. But yeah, for the most part, this is gonna be my first ever time really playing on the Quest 3 with PC and seeing how well this Oculus Link cable really works on this man. Because with the Quest 2, one of the biggest struggle fests that I had with that device was the fact that I would just have random disconnects, my frame rate was unsteady, there was a guy literally right on the other side of this, let's see if we can go and nade him. But yeah, for the most part, my frame rate just wasn't consistent when it came down to doing a lot of those gameplays on there. So it's gonna be definitely a different way to go and record some stuff compared to really using my Rift S when I do my casual gameplay. So I am, oh my gosh, my aim sucks. But I am just so excited to be able to go and use like this new hardware, man, because I have been needing an upgrade for God knows how freaking long with PC, dude. Because I've literally been using hardware probably from like 2018 or 2019 in terms of like my headset. So it feels nice to finally have like some clear lenses where I can actually see across the map and actually like understand where players are. But I'm gonna see if I can throw a knife this fool. Imagine that would have landed. That would have been so nuts. Okay, peek that again, dude. Can you imagine seeing someone, like, actually hit, like, a crane shot in VR, bro? <laughs> that would be so sick. Like, actually unreal. Let him up! Oh my god, this is such a camping spot. I'm a campy, campy little boy. Let's see, can we get some angles on these guys? He's probably gonna be able to, like, see me pretty dang easy here. <laughs> that is such a cheese. Oh my god. Does he see me? Wait, where... Was he sniping from the back? Yo, good shot, Block. That was nuts. Dude, it feels so weird to be able to run in a one-by-one -one scale of high-rise, man. Like, this was my childhood. This, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, were legit, like, some of the most hours I put into Call of Duty. Is there a guy in here? I'm pretty sure I just heard someone inside of this elevator, or he's above it. Okay, I'm gonna check. I thought so. What are you doing over there, buddy? Camping right on the freaking... What? Wait a sec. Oh no, he turned around! Why? I was gonna go troll him. I was gonna sit with him for a while. God dang it. I was also looking for my knife. Oh. There we go. I thought you were gonna go and jump down. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my god. Okay. We are Gucci. I did not think I was gonna be able to get that kill there. But we are running smooth as butter, boys. It feels so good, man. Like... I can actually see now, <laughs> like I'm playing on lenses that actually have so much clarity, and it's working so good on the PC. This was like totally unexpected, but yeah, no joke guys, I have been itching to just get some type of different headset 
to go and use in VR, man. And it is time for us to get the beautiful freaking upgrade here with the Quest 3. And so far, it has not been disappointing, dude. For a standalone device to be able to go and connect to the PC and have it work this well just with an Oculus Link cable is seriously so impressive, man. If only my gun didn't clip on that window, I could have destroyed that man. Oh, my God. He's going to light me up. Let's see if I can... Oh. I see you. How did I not light him through there, bro? But yeah, you guys are definitely gonna have to let me know how this gameplay turns out. This is gonna be my first time really testing, you know, the PC VR capabilities of the Quest 3. So I'm hoping that the gameplay will, like, look smooth, turn out nice, and not have any choppiness. But if it does, you guys are just gonna have to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below. But for the most part, I think it should be pretty dang good, man. Because, like... From what it feels like in the headset, it is buttery smooth. I haven't dropped, like, any frames in the slightest. It does feel really, really nice. So I'm assuming for the most part we should be pretty much Gucci. But the matter of it comes down to how OBS decides to go and take all this. Oh, my God. My aim sucks. I don't want to talk about that, bro. That was awful. But I got to be straight up, guys. I am loving the Quest 3 so far. Like, whether it be the augmented reality, whether it just be PC VR, standalone, you name it, dude. It has been more than enough. When it comes down to like gameplay wise and just performance in general, like it look, what are you doing back there, Dunzo? He's camping on the flag. <laughs> but yeah, it just so far feels incredible. Like, I'm not even sitting here just trying to like, you know, suck the zuck in a sense. Like, I'm actually just really, really happy that we have some technology, especially for the standalone, that is like able to really kick some freaking butt, dude. Because I feel like for so long, you know, we've had like the Quest 2 and it's been good. Like, by no means was it a bad, you know, bad headset. But I just feel like it wasn't enough for me to go and convert from already using my other Oculuses. You know what I mean? Like, it just didn't make sense to me to go and transfer over. So now to be able to have something that I'm actually willing to go and replace a headset that I've basically used for like four years, this is something completely different for me, man. Like, it's gonna take a lot of time to get used to, but I am so excited for the new journey. I'm getting lit up. Oh my God. Let's see, can I just chuck this nade across? Oh. Let's see if we can land it over on the other side. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but man can dream. Just a random nade, dude. Might have another guy going and pushing over here. This ACR is a freaking monster, by the way. It reminds me just like the OG Modern Warfare 2 days. It is so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's on a feed. Can I see him through there? Bro, there's no way. That is such a dirty angle. Oh, that's a teammate. Oh, my God. I can't believe I can see from that little crack. Like, that's the one thing that VR does so differently that you're not really able to do on, like, flat screen games is to have those peaks, bro. Like, you're literally able to go and, like, peek around corners that way or even just through, like, those little crevices that allow you to get, like, some dirty freaking peaks, dude. It's just so fun, man, to be able to do stuff like this. Like, I fell in love with VR the instant that I got into it, and now, oh, this guy is really trying to light me up. I knew you were still in there, buddy. I knew you didn't move. Oh, come on, bro. That was a 23 and 13 game, though, on high rise. I'm actually really happy with that performance because most of the time when I play on, like, high rise, a lot of people are just camping in the back or camping in the dark, and they don't really move. So uh, I usually just get, like, mopped by other players, but that was a really solid game. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Want to know what I did when I was host and I just chucked a bunch of people in it for fun? No. <laughs> Guys, are we starting another I, game? I, I chucked yeah. him in yeah. McDonald's. I chucked him in McDonald's with <laughs> melee savage. on me. <laughs> Toast, can I be in your uh, next video? Yo, who's talking? It's Dunzo. <laughs> Yo, Dun dude, you've been fucking shredding me like every game. <laughs> like, are I you, swear, you, you have literally been like the only person killing me. <laughs> I Which is cra how. this is my third time playing this game. Like I have like three hours into VR in general. And you're just mopping me, dude. <laughs> That's dude, amazing. Hard. Without jumping, without jumping, this it, dude, the jumping is OP. I'm I need to host. get on that Why jumping. Bro, I, bro, it's wild. I Those never corner peaks. Jump. When you jump, oh, dude, it's wild. It's really Guys, can we start another game? I can't do anything about yeah, it. Like, I don't know. So I don't have very many maps, boys. But uh, you guys cool with like some Modern Warfare 19 maps? Or what are you guys feeling? Yo, we could do some firing range though. That could be fun. You guys down for firing range? Some what? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Yes. All right, let's run it. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's uh from like it's the Black Ops 4 remap of it. What's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. Dang. Makes me feel old when I hear that, dude. Right. Damn, we're I old know. as shit. That's crazy. Let me tell you, Sonny, about fired rage.
Yeah. <laughs> That's where boys became men! So now we are here on game two, rocking some firing range. I want to see if maybe we can get some throwing knife kills right off the bat here. Let's just go for a straight up Tommy and see if we can maybe land this, because this would be freaking wild. They even got the freaking planes that come and fly in on the game. That is so sick. Okay, where's this guy at? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I don't know how I actually lift that guy up. I did not deserve that kill in the slightest. I'm going to run and get the hell out of here. Okay, we got our team all camping on that flag. Oh my god. I am feeling like so much more solid right now. What is going on right now? Okay, our team is just shredding our freaking flags. So I think I'm going to go run to the opposite side, try to flip spawns again. Oh, my aim sucks. I don't want to talk about it. Whew. Okay, we are Gucci. Let's go and rock and roll skis. Let's see if they're going to be on this peak. Okay, no, I think we should be able to go and flank C here. Wait, our teammate's actually going and capping that. Okay, hello. Are they going to be back on, like, back spawn here? My Call of Duty brain is treating me right. I assume with this flag control, we should be having them spawning right over here. Unless they completely flipped on the other side of firing range, but we'll have to go and see. I feel like they should be over here. Yep, okay, he's probably running through this. I thought so! Oh my god! Jumping. <laughs> Quit jumping! <laughs> I feel you, bro. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> like, it is so dirty doing, like, jump shots and, like, slide shots in this. Like, it just feels so good, though. Like, how can I not do it? Like, when I start, how can I not do it, dude? Let's see. Oh, is that gonna bank shot off? Okay, no, we're good. That should land right on flag. Or that went right back to me. Oh my god, what? How'd that land? Peek it. Peek it. Oh, he ran upstairs. Okay, I'm just gonna run to the opposite flag here. See if we can get a peek. Oh, bro, he was lit up so bad. I almost had him. But I have to say straight up, these maps being able to be experienced on the Quest 2 standalone, even like Quest 3, obviously, is such a cool addition to this freaking game, dude. Like, it makes me so happy that we're literally able to go and play maps, like, to this fidelity in a VR setting, dude. Like, this is just bonkers to me. Okay, teammate, you got him, I believe. I'm gonna trust you on this. I'm gonna go jump to the other side and see if maybe we can get a little flanky. <gasps> no, I thought he killed Dunzo. <laughs> that man has just been lighting me up literally every game. I don't know what it is, but Dunzo, he's got like the special touch or something, man. He's just been absolutely destroying me. But I'm curious, can I go and like sneak up and try to get like a little, a little spot here? Well, let me do it. Oh, here we go. I see you, bro. Come on, peek it. You know what? Screw it. Come on, no! I should have got him with that grenade. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can maybe go and chuck a nade right over to the opposite flag. Possibly swap that over. That man was going right in for it! Oh my god! Dude, he's lit up. He's lit up. He's so weak. But yeah, be sure to let me know if you guys do want to see some more contractors content on the channel. Because it's definitely something I would love to do more of here for like just VR gameplays in general. Because don't get me wrong. I love my Ghost of Tabor. I love my Pavlov. And I love all my VR FPSs. But contractors will always have a special place in my heart. We are. What? Where do you come from? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take your mini Uzi. Thank you. I'm going to see if this is any good. I actually haven't really used the mini Uzi. So I'm curious to see if it's actually decent at all. This guy's got a weird lineup on it, though. A holographic with a freaking mini Uzi? What? Okay, this is so weird. Is this even any good? Like, can you even use this gun? <laughs> Let's see, bro. I'm kind of curious. Okay. Okay, we actually got a kill with it. I'm generally surprised. We did not deserve to even get a single freaking shot off with that thing. I think they're going to be peeking barricades. I thought so. I'm sorry, for the second game, I'm probably not going to be having a lot of commentary. I'm just having a lot of fun going and running through firing range. And, like, I just want to feature, like, as much of, like, the actual gameplay element as possible. Instead of just, like, blabbering over the gameplay and, like, completely sucking major ball sacks the entire time, I want to have a lot of fun going and just, like, playing through the map, getting some, like, really good domination gameplay for you guys, and just showcasing how good the Modern Warfare 2 pack is here on contractors dude like if you guys do not have the game yet and you would love to play stuff that is very call of duty themed you're gonna get that exact experience playing contractors and i think it's like 15 or 20 bucks like it's definitely not a lot of money oh that is a grenade coming right over that was a great shot dunzo holy crap what a setup so if you guys are just looking for like that call of duty itch in a vr setting man you are gonna get that exact thing 
with contractors. So like, trust me when I say this, man, it's like a 15 or $20 game. So you're literally investing that much money to get all of the mods that come along with it, the great player base that's with it, and so many other things along with the contractors package, dude. It just makes me so happy to see like how popular the servers still are on this. Whether it be standalone or PC, man, like it has crossplay. Oh, there is a lot of people over there and I did not <laughs> expect that. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I gotta see if I can... Oh! oh. <laughs> so much for that straight-up tomahawk. Can I go up top by going on these? Oh, you can. Let's see. Can I grab my grenade? Let's see if we can just land that right up top. Oh, that grenade was a perfect placement. Let's go. Oh, block with the shotgun. That is straight up Modern Warfare 2 right there, bro. People camping with shotties in corners. Like, I remember the Striker. I remember the Rangers, like Akimbo. That stuff was so freaking broken back in the day. Like, if you guys played, like, OG Modern Warfare 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was busted. Those in the, like, original models, those things were, like, laser beam for the longest of time. Oh, I stopped shooting. I thought you were dead. My bad. I just lit you up. Oh, I just chucked... Oh, I don't have any more megs because I just chucked my last one. Woo! Okay, we're good. <laughs> nice! A 25 and 13 rockets of fire range, man. I am more than open to that. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I'll fix it! I wouldn't no. die! Well, right no, here. No. Oh! <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences! 